Let's read this word of God. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. Let's read this word of God. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 22. Let's read. The word of God says, Shun youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace. Along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Shun youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace. Along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. The Lord is telling us. Everybody repeat after me. Shun youthful passions. Shun youthful passions. Pursue. Righteousness, pursue righteousness, faith, faith, love, love, and peace, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord, along with those who call on the Lord, from a pure heart, from a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, Bible says, if anybody wants to call on the Lord, they should be with a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pursue righteousness, faith, love and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We should be in connection with those people who pray with pure heart. We should be connected to them. We should pray with them. And we should pursue righteousness. We should pursue not only righteousness, faith, love and peace, but also we should pursue those people who pray call on the Lord with a pure heart. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's very important to be connected to those who call on the Lord with pure heart. If you're connected to, God, uh, to people who are impure heart, your prayers and everything will be blocked. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bible says you should be connected to those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. You should pursue. You should be connected. You should, be, you should pursue with them. Be careful about our connections and friendships. Let's read Romans chapter 8 verse 6. Kindly read Romans chapter 8 verse 6. To set the mind on the flesh is death. But to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Anyone who is always thinking about how to satisfy the desires of the flesh, they are dead. They invite death. But anyone who is always thinking about how to satisfy God, how to make God happy, they will have peace and life. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let's read James chapter 1 verse 14 and 15. James 1, 14 and 15, we read like this. But one is tempted by one's own desire, being lured and enticed by it. Then when that desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And that sin, when it is fully grown, gives birth to death. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 